Hello, welcome to PSU Connect Media and you are watching today's top news. Pilmar to become SCCL's first open cast mine to produce coal under MDO mode. SCCL's Pilmar mine will become the first open cast mine in Chhattisgarh under MDO mine developer and operator mode. Southeastern Coal Field Limited SCCL has signed an agreement with Pilmar Collieries to operate Pilmar open cast mine located in Raigarh area. According to the agreement, Pelma Collieries will operate the mine for the next 20 years under which Pelma Collieries will be responsible for all activities related to designing, financing, procurement, construction, operation and maintenance of the project. BHL manufactured India's first set of SCR catalysts to limit NOx emission. BHL has successfully manufactured India's first set of catalysts for selective catalyst reactors for limiting NOx emission from thermal power plants. Notably, these catalysts were hitherto being imported and this is a significant milestone under the Make in India initiative of the Government of India. DMRC transformed Dwarka Sector 14 Metro Station into a living canvas. Delhi Metro Rail Corporation joined hand with the Nirmal Bharti School New Delhi to unveil the Forest of Hope Mural artwork based on the Varli art form at Dwarka 14 Metro Station today. Dr. Vikas Kumar, Managing Director of DMRC, inaugurated the artwork. This artwork is a part of DMRC's continuous effort to utilize its premises for the promotion of art, culture and the heritage of India. NCL organizes stakeholders meeting for sale of M sand. Northern Coalfield Limited NCL on Tuesday organized a stakeholders meet for the sale of M sand at the premises of MDI Central Mining and Training Institute. The main purpose of organizing this meeting was to create awareness among the stakeholders for the sale of M sand and to promote the use of M sand. India's top gas firm planned to invest rupees 30,000 crore. India's top gas firm and leading public sector undertaking Gas Authority of India Limited is planning to expand its petrochemical capacity and for that the company is looking to invest rupees 30,000 crore for the next three years. Sri Sandeep Kumar Gupta, Chairman and Managing Director of Gale stated this while addressing the shareholders at the 39th Annual Journal Meeting of Gale India Limited. The directors and independent director of Gale were also presented on the occasion. CMD Ireda honors winner of Delhi State Badminton Championship 2023. Pradeep Kumar Das, Chairman and Managing Director of Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited, graced the finals of the Delhi State Badminton Championship 2023 on 23rd of August 2023. More than 500 badminton players participated in the championship in singles, doubles and mixed doubles categories from 16th to 23rd August. Bandhan Bank completes 8 years opens a branch in Leh Ladakh. In a captivating event, Bandhan Bank celebrated its 8th anniversary today. The bank marks 8 years of its incredible journey by opening a branch in Leh District Union Territory of Ladakh. The bank also opened another branch in Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir. With the launch of new branches in Leh and Srinagar, Bandhan Bank is now present in 35 out of 36 states and union territories, serving more than 3 crore customers through a strong network of more than 6,100 banking outlets across the country. NLCIL Inc's Pact with AAI will provide CNS ETM services. NLCIL Inc's Pact with Airport Authority of India on 21st of August at Chennai for the provision of communication, navigation, surveillance and air traffic management services. To enable the air operation, NLCIL and AI will join hands through another MOU for entrusting operation and management of airports to AAI shortly. Thanks for being with us. Like, share and subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to say something, kindly put your comments down. Thank you.